Good, mor good Saturday morning to you guys. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA in my luxurious 16-foot Coachman Clipper Cadet Travel Trailer, my 2018 travel trailer, and right now we are remodeling my home base, building a concrete pad under the RV cover and a 10x10 patio, okay? And it'll be, the concrete will be poured on Monday morning, and on and on it goes. Hey Google, tell us a joke. <laughs> Why can't astronauts eat popsicles in space? No one can hear the ice cream truck. He told that one yesterday. Anyway, hey Google, what's the den t temperature in Denver, Colorado? In Denver, it's currently 55. Not too bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Death Valley? I got a slow connection. I don't know where he went. The temperature in Death Valley right now is 88. There is currently an excessive heat warning in effect. 88. And that would be at, let's see, probably 5 a.m., 6 a.m., because it's, uh, let me tell you what time it is here. The date is... It's 7.19 a.m. and this is Saturday, June the 23rd. So I won't ask Google any more questions. If Google Home devices and Alexa the same way. They work really well if you have a really fast internet connection and I don't. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't. Depends on Verizon. But anyway, Pamela Teehee says have a great day and weekend. Your guys are doing a great job on your concrete setup. Just a few more days and it will be like great. It will be. Uh, Wanda Thurman looks great, Rusty. Love the patio. Thank you. Pamela Teehee again says your concrete crew seems extremely honest and customer service is right on. If I lived there, they'd be the one to use. The fact that the guy said let's fix it when it was a 16th off is indicative of their work eth ethic. Honesty. Good Good for my buddy Rusty. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's this one guy is a stickler, man. I mean, he... <laughs> it ain't right. He tears it out and does it over. Mabel Lane, ah, thank you, Mike Butterfield. That was so sweet of you, whatever he did. Pamela Tee, looking good, Rusty. Pamela Tee, nice little building. Uh, the little tiny homes, that's right. This is Linda Price. Hi, you, Rusty. Do you live in an unincorporated area? I live out in the county. There's no town around me. Do you pay property taxes that include the value of your RV? I pay property taxes on the value of the land and the improvements, but no, not on the RV. It's excluded. Do you have a septic? Yes. Uh, how far are you from the city? Uh, the nearest town is about eight miles. Love hearing the cicadas, and your place is lovely and will be more so when you get the concrete. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you, Linda. Pamela Teehee again. Good size. That's on the little homes. Thank you. Ron Bailey. Matt is the guy with no arms and no legs that lays under your RV cover. Oh, but that's Matt, like doormat. Got it. We got it, Ron. A A I or A L Marvin. I think it's A I Marvin. Americans used to be able to do math, measure fractions, square footage. Now they just cry at the thought of doing grade school math. Well, let me tell you, folks. You better know general math, or you're going to have to have a problem. Bill Nolan. I'm glad to see they are using steel matting. The people I had putting in my driveway used fiberglass fibers in the concrete two years and it cracked. Yeah, I got the heavy duty matting. I paid a little more for it, but I think it's worth it. Pamela Chandler, looking great, Rusty. Thank you. David Bricky, they did a great wrapper country. The main thing on the slab, if you don't know, cut control joints in that slab. Uh, that's their business. <clears throat> they install the slab. I pay for it. Yeah, I, I know about the expand, expansion joints. I've had driveways poured before, but uh, I don't think we need it here, neither today. Uh, Joyce Barnett, I just love the drive and talk videos. It's so sad that many small businesses have gone out of business. Sometimes progress is not grand. I'm so glad that you got the real deal. I wish the younger people had the same worth ethics. 
that we had when we were growing up. Well, you know, things change. You know, they, they don't they don't have the work. You know what I mean? I grew up on a farm. We had to work all the time. You know, kids now grow up in towns, live in apartments or homes where they you know they got a yard service or maybe the lawn being mowed is the only thing there is to do. There's just not anything to do. Eric Herschel, Rusty, can you show the process of putting your RV back under the covered area and setting it up when it's ready? Well, there's no process to it. I just back it in and set it up just like I do everywhere else. But yeah, I'll sh after it's set up, I'll show you, sure. Keith Wallet, Rusty, are you going to have an apron on the front of that parking pad so you can drive onto it smoothly or a sidewalk leading up so you can walk straight up without a step? Uh, actually, uh, I, I have enough of those uh, cinder blocks and the little flat bricks to do whatever I want to do. Roger St. Martin, thumbs up to you. George Barnett. Thanks for sharing, showing the progress of the work site. Looking good, looking good. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and maybe take a drive or two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be going over to burn it this morning and do a video probably of some RVs. Thanks for sharing. Roger St. Martin, what did the dogs say when they cut off his tail? It won't be long now. I don't know. This is Rocky Hits the Road t-shirt somebody hit, sent me. It says Woodstock, New York. <laughs> Motorcycle, kind of cute. Uh, Pamela Chandler, nature spender, so gorgeous. Rusty, yeah, that's on the uh, trees. Sorry, I mean splendor. Okay, nature spender, nature splendor. Okay, got you. Keith Mayer, Meyer, what about the carport? If you need a new one, how are you going to get a new one because your carport is in cement? I'm not. Solves that problem. <laughs> be the last one I ever have. Oh, those things will last. 100 years. Sarah J. Terrific, Rusty. Thank you. Roger St. Martin. I can sum up your questions in one word. Experience. Uh, well, believe me, I, I, uh, that's true. That's true. Good point. Dorian Christie on the home base. Rusty, congrats on your choices and finding some old-fashioned good craftsmen to do the job. Wish you many years enjoyment of home base improvements. I love watching the stages and work as it's done long ago. My dad and his crew worked masonry and carpentry like these guys. Thank you for filming, sir. I just do it every day. At the end. When they finish their day and they're gone, <clears throat> I do a video. That's how this has been done. Because they don't want to be in the video, and I don't blame them. Uh, Scott Elwood looks like a job well done. It is. Der Diane Hill looking good, dreaming, thumbs up. Rather be fishing. They are fast. Well, they're, they're steady, man. They, they, they come in every day with a plan. They get it done. They go. <clears throat> Dreaming good video because they want to be at a certain point at a certain time. In other words, they, he's got five jobs going right now, and he wants to get them. He can't pour them. He doesn't want to pour them all at the same time because he can't be at every site. But he wants to be there when they pour. Uh, the owner does. So he's timing them so that they're pouring at certain times, and I think that's genius. Dreaming, good video, Rusty. Uh, TT Boy 2004 comment call. Hey, Rusty, we have noticed that your hair has been looking good. What do you use on your beautiful mane? Inquiring minds want to know. Thanks. I don't use anything on it. Water. And every now and then I put some of that CeraVe cream on it, on my head. I mean, I don't put it on my hair. I just put it on my head to keep my scalp uh from drying out too much and uh, yeah that's so that's it I, I've never put any I, well at one time I, I did try mineral oil but I didn't like the way it looked so it's too it was too greasy so I just use that CeraVe cream every now and then maybe once a week if that and uh, and water just wet it down in the morning comb it straight back and go Tracy Phillips Rusty you're a hoot with a sense of humor you might get more views on the Mars video now than when it first came out <laughs> I did a crazy video about Mars. If you want to check it out, go to my website or pay homepage and do a. There's a playlist for Mars videos, and then there's a. You can do a search, search the videos, just type in the word Mars, and some of them will pop up. But there's one I did wearing an orange shirt called Mars Arriving on Mars or something like that. <laughs> I was just driving down the highway. And I was thinking about, you know, uh, SpaceX and going to Mars and stuff. I looked off to the right and I saw these big granite boulders. I said, you know, that kind of looks like those rocks on, on the moon or Mars. So I pulled over there and 
Next thing you know, I decided to do a video about landing on Mars. It, it was totally off the cuff, totally. I mean, I just, there, every word that, every word that was in that video was created at that very moment. <laughs> Big Guy Adventures. This will be great when finished. Will, thank you. Fiddle-footed, looking good, rusty. Thank you, Elliot K. Are they constructing a storage area for several months storage of beer? Uh, no, but this RV will have several days storage of beer. Don't worry about that. Santa Fe Fades. This is on Escapees Elder Care. She left a link to escapees.org. Thank you. Mike Butterfield, good Friday morning, Rusty, North Pole, Alaska now, 51 degrees in Truckee, California, low of 31, 37. Uh, it says, Saturday I'm drinking. Well, that's good to know, Mike. KC Carr, the Oregon Hillbilly Hilton. <clears throat> this is on RV towing. It is not illegal to pull into a gas station with your propane refrigerator running the the restriction is no open flame. The flame is contained inside the refrigerator. The last time I checked, the refrigerator doesn't have an open flame. It's the same concept of smoking a cigarette in your car at a gas station, so stop giving this information. Uh, I didn't say it was illegal. I don't know if it's illegal. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You do what you want to do. If you want to go in a gas station with a blowtorch blowing, you do it, you know? And when you come flying by here on your way to El Paso, I wave at you. <laughs> Scotty Thompson, cool comment call. Scotty Thompson, I don't like negative people. Me either. Uh, I don't like people that don't think, you know what I mean, that don't look out for others, you know. Eric, uh, Ian Flanagan, how are you going to wash your clothes if you get rid of your washing machine? Now, come on. Ian, wake up, guys. There's a whole world out here. I'll go to a laundromat once a month. Cost five dollars. It's three fifty to wash and one dollar and fifty cents to dry a large load. I use two dryers. Seventy five cents in each dryer gives me thirty minutes in each dryer, and that's all I need. Kiwi Van Man, a lovely place, a lovely private space. Looking forward to seeing it finished. Hi, Rusty from all of us Vanners in New Zealand. William, hello, Kiwi Van Man in New Zealand. All you guys in New Zealand, thumbs up. Scotty Thompson, two in a row here. Cool small businesses, USA and Drive Talk Rusty. Cool RV home base remodeling talk Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Good to have you back with us. Marianne, great job, great price. Enjoy, so practical yet so good. You're right, Marianne. Joseph Randazzo. Excellent. With that amount of steel in the slab and the footer should be adequate for your needs nicely done. Yes, it will. Yeah, the adding the footings all the way around the foundation adds a lot because those footings are about this wide and about this deep all the way around the perimeter of the foundation of the slab. Yes, and that's all going to be solid concrete. Will that help? You bet it will. Benjamin Burkhart, last one guys, Coachman 17 footer. These are now under 10,000 by me in Southern California. From what I understand, the Viking is an austere, basic version of the Clipper Travel Trailer. Both sit below the Coachman Freedom Express and Coachman Apex Aluminum Frame Fiberglass Ball Travel Trailer. The Clipper and Viking are wood frame, from what I understand. I'm not sure. No, these have aluminum. This has aluminum little studs in it because I've seen them. Uh, or at least mine does. Coachman, now owned by Forest River, is an older manufacturer with a good reputation. Well, let me say this about that, Benjamin. Coachman may have had a good reputation. Forest River doesn't. Forest River makes about 30 different brand names, and they're owned by Warren Buffett and his group, and they are in there for one reason, maximize profit. They have no quality control. These units roll out and are not inspected. They get inspected when they get to the dealership. And if there's problems, then the dealer contacts them and repairs them there. Then if you get one that's not completely repaired, then you got to take it back to the dealership and on and on it goes. But no, I knew it was a base unit. It doesn't have an oven. It doesn't, but it's fine. I mean, it, all it is is basically a finished out interior unit, and I can add anything I want, and that's what I wanted. Anyway, it's okay with me. But yeah, under 10K, I'm sure you'd probably get one for under 8K if you worked at it. And I could have got mine. I could have bought this same RV here in Oklahoma for $8,500 and saved me $1,200. Not really, because then I'd have had to drive all the way to uh, uh, 
central Oklahoma, about 500 mi 400 miles one way, get the unit, bring it back, and then with that shower leak or whatever problems I had to have, I had, I would have had to take it to the local dealer, and they would have made me wait because I didn't buy it there. You got me? So anyway, having said that, from Central Texas, USA, on a Saturday morning, nice day. It's going to be hot today. Probably be right at 100 degrees today here today. And I'm right out in the direct sunlight, but I'm so glad that I got my brand new Arctic Air 6000 BTU window AC stuck in that emergency exit window because without it, I would have toasted because this 5000 BTU unit that comes with the unit, uh, the Danby, it ain't worth poop at about 85 degrees, up to about 85 outside, it'll do okay. When it gets to 90, it starts losing traction, and then that's it. At 90 degrees, it'll keep the inside about 78 to 80. That's on max, and uh, above that, it starts going up, up, up on the inside. But anyway, having said that, guys, hey, Google, tell us a joke. What do you call a Labrador that becomes a magician? A Labracadabrador. <laughs> <laughs> pretty weak, pretty weak. But anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. Uh, progress continues. I may do some RV videos today if I can find something to do. Anyway, what else? Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, my deals, buy, 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 anything you want. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link to uh, Amazon, pro or in the, in the description of my videos, I leave a link to Amazon products. Why do I do that? Because I get a small commission if you use the link and go to Amazon and buy anything. Does it cost you anything? No, it does not cost you one penny. It's just a matter of if you want to go the extra effort or not. If you don't, don't worry about it. And what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day, not a problem. Uh, actually, three or four quarts a day will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. Is that good for you? Yes. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. What else? Stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. Keep your body in motion. Do something every day, you know what I mean? Just kind of move around a little bit. It's good for you. Make you feel good. And what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind, because what you let in are ingredients. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head and dump a load of trash, okay? Uh, let in positive stuff. It'll lower stress. It'll, you'll sleep better. You'll feel better. You'll have, a, you, you'll have a whole different attitude if you keep the negativity out of your mind. So anyway, having said that, from Central Texas, guys, enjoy your life one day at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.